Hey, HDR here for Player Base, and we are going to answer uh, a couple of comments uh, that we answered in the uh, discussion section of the video on one of the secret dangers uh, on a player character's character sheet. And the first comment comes from Pez, uh, remarking that it was uh, a really good analogy. Thanks, Pez. And um, he's trying to play with that a character sheet and see how it goes. Now, there's two things that are going to happen when you play without a character sheet. The first one is, if you have a clear idea of the character and what you desire to do with the character, you're going to find you don't need it because you already know that, you know, it's a half-elf with a penchant for kickboxing and rune magic or it's, uh, you know, it's a drow with um, a brooding backstory about wanting to raise, like, attack hamsters um, and therefore, you know, they're a ranger. Or you're not going to know what the two attacks that you're ever going to use are going to be because you don't really have a strong preference or you're not clear with it. You know, because remember, like, this is predicated on the fact that when you play this character, they're going to exist for six fights. That's the average lifespan of a character in playtime. And when you think about the fact that, oh, I'm going to fight with this character six times, that means that they're going to use one attack and maybe a backup attack. You only need two. And you have a clear idea of what you want to do, okay, well, I'm only going to get six chances. You know what I mean? Like if I'm ordering the small fries, I'm not necessarily going to get the mixed platter. I'm going to get the fries that I like. You know, maybe the, the you know, the home style uh, and the hash browns aren't that great here. I don't know. And if I'm getting a small portion, I don't have a lot to work with. I might as well just choose a thing that I know that I like. And if I don't have a strong preference, or if I'm not clear on what my preference is, this will make that clear to me if I didn't know before. And the other thing is, there's this issue that people have with regards to when they don't know what to do and they don't know that or they, don't, they haven't practiced sort of the, the agency of just being able to do whatever you want, or that you, anything you come up with is what you can do, they stare at the character sheet for like five minutes in the middle of combat. And let me tell you, that's not fun for anybody, at least of all the person who's looking at the character sheet. This, I call this the stock boy's dilemma, because you're going into the back and just kind of looking around uh, on the shelves to see what's there in the hopes that it will trigger your executive function. You know, this is akin to uh, trying to figure out the move techniques to engage a boss battle in a From Software game. And in order to do that, in the middle of the boss battle, you just open up your inventory screen and stare at it for half an hour. It's not going to help. Because that's what a character sheet is. It's an inventory screen. And seeing as how you're really not going to use 80% of the things in that inventory screen, even if you play this character for a year, there's no point. It's, it's, it's a waste of time. It doesn't improve your play, and it doesn't improve the quality of the experience for you or anybody else. Now, not everybody is a visual learner or has a strong visual concept. You know, not everybody can think of a shape or an interaction in their head and imagine how it moves around reflexively which is fine. But you still don't need a character sheet. If you, if, you know, what you need is notes. And having a notes separate from your character sheet is much more useful. Because you just write down on the notes, you know, the two attacks that you use and, you know, anything else that is central to the character. Like, oh, they're really into beekeeping or a big part of how this person is playing is the fact that they are a merchant from a successful caravan gilding traveler community of dwarves. Whatever it is. You just have it on a sheet. And not even a sheet of post-it note. You know, just a piece of paper. And that will really be enough to work from. Because then you're not tempted to just stare at it and hope that you can rummage around in your pockets for 10 minutes to find some kind of like magical plus two sword shaped key for whatever lock you think it is because there are no real locks there's just it, it's a sandbox you know it's not a puzzle game 
So uh, I'm going to answer uh, the next one in the next video. This is five minutes is long enough for this. And we'll see you in that video. GR, player base. And here we are.